you. Well, as we mentioned, it is back to school for many more Central Indiana students today. And in Lebanon, they're taking extra steps to make sure kids getting on and off the school bus are safe. We were telling you about the district's new cameras that they're installing on those school bus arms. Yeah, and today they're actually being put to the test for the first day back. Our Matt McCutcheon joins us live in Lebanon this morning with what they're looking for. Hey, Matt. Ben and Julia, good morning to you. It's really the eye of the tiger right here at Lebanon High School and an eye on safety, especially when it comes to those school buses and those stop arms. Get this, just last year, as a matter of fact, the district right here really sort of experimented with one school bus in particular and putting that camera on one of the arms. The statistics are pretty alarming when you consider the fact that that one camera caught over a two-month period 15 drivers simply violating the law, which is to stop when that stop arm comes out. Out. That fueled the passion to make sure that every bus has this technology. Previously, a bus driver would have to report a driver to police, something that simply proved to be too difficult. They have to pay attention to the road, they have to pay attention to the children, and they have to pay attention to the driver. They can't do all that at once. I've had grown men in my office in tears because they've about seen a child get killed. Now, the $44,000 price tag puts cameras on all the district's 39 school buses. The cameras aren't the only thing that's going to be new. Students will notice another change when they come back to school. We're working to break down for you that change coming up here a little later on Sunrise. But as far as the school arm, this is something that we can all learn all across Indiana, regardless of the school district. That's because there is a slogan that the district here has come up with, quote, we won't back down don't go around. So that's something we can all keep in mind here when we see those school bus arms come out in Georgia. All right, thanks, Matt. Well, it's definitely a problem all around the state. You know, last year, bus drivers reported 2,280 drivers ignoring and passing through those bus stop arms, and that was just in a single day.